hello friends welcome to my channel tutorial shop so in this video i'm basically going to show you how you can actually create a gmail a gmail id in 2021 so obviously if you want to create a gmail id very first of all you have to go to google website you can simply type the address gmail dot com on your address bar and then you have to press the enter button so that the website will be open and then you have to let me change the language okay so you have to press create an account either you can press here create an account or you can also press there create an account so you have to press create an account so you will find this interface okay create your google account continue to gmail so in this part here you can see you have to put your first name okay so I'm going to put my first name there. So it's Zaid, and the last name is Ahmed. As you can see, I put my first name in there, Zaid, and the last name is Ahmed. Zaid Ahmed. So in their username, you have to choose a username. In which username you want to create your Google account, you have to put the username there. So I'm going to put a sample like. Zaid Ahmed then double zero double one okay so in there you have to put password as you can see there is option for password okay so in there as you can see there is a there is a question that that username is taken try another that means someone else already have the Google account with this username Zaid Ahmed double zero double one so we just have to change the name or the digit and of the name for make a unique name so I'm going to choose something like a two mm, double nine okay and let's see what happens yeah as you can see uh, as we put Zayed Ahmed a two double nine so it, uh, they are saying this is a unique that means with this name there is no any other Google account has been created so we can take this name so after that we have to put a password so you can say you can put your password anything as you want so I'm just putting something ran randomly as like my name Zayed Ahmed double zero double one double two you can choose anything anything strong okay but you can you can you can also take some uh, swim bells like at the rate then hash anything as you want okay if this is something for this is I'm just trying to show you how you can create this so you can put anything like I put my name then double one double two double three and then I put a at mark and then I put a hash for make the password strong same way I have to confirm the password there so I am going to confirm my password Z A Y E D A H M E D Ahmed double zero double one double two and then the add mark and the hash mark or the pound whatever you can say. So if we press there show password it will show you the actual password is it okay or not. So here you can see my password is okay it's Zayed Ahmed double zero double one double two and then the confirmation of the password is Zayed Ahmed double zero double one double two add and the pound mark so then I have to press next in this section Google will ask you for a phone number so sometimes it happens sometimes they make it optional as you can see it's, say, it's saying phone number optional sometimes they will put this phone number for optional and sometimes they will ask ask you for uh, compulsory you must have to put a phone number so if they ask you for must have to put a phone number then obviously you have to put a phone number for your you know confirmation 
and if the put it in optional you can skip this no problem at all and then also you can see recovery email address this is also optional so if you want you can put a recovery email address which will help you in future if you forget your email password any time even your email address or anything problem happen with your email then they will they will provide you provide a link in your recovery email address okay so basically uh, easily i'm going to put a recovery email address of as like my any previous email address so i'm going to put my email address gmail.com as you can say i put my recovery email address there and then here you have to put your your date of birth okay so i'm going to put my date of birth is as you can see i have put my date of birth there and then simply i have to choose my gender either if am i a female or a male right and not say or a custom i don't know why they put this option custom maybe this is for third gender i don't know rather not say you can you can choose anything if you are a female you can put female if you are a male you can put male and if you don't actually want to mention your gender you can skip this so as i am a male i'm going to choose male then i have to press next and then google will show you a privacy and terms so here you can see this is a privacy to create a google account you need to agree to the terms of service below so here are the terms of service which you must have to follow if you want to use a google account in addition so when you create an account we process your information as described in our privacy policy including the skip points they skip points okay data that we process when you use google those are the data they will process when you will use any google service when you set up a google account we store information you give us like your name email address and telephone number that means google will put your information google will keep your i mean sorry google will keep your information for their for their users so basically as i know google actually use those information for their advertising purpose and you may know very well that google earn money by advertising okay so and then as you can see when you use google services when you use google services to do things such as write a message in gmail or comment on a youtube video we store the information that you create that means google will also keep the information when you write something in the gmail or when you put a comment in a youtube video google will store every information from them okay and then when you search for a restaurant or google maps or watch a video on youtube for example we process information about that activity including information such as the video that we uh, that you uh, that you watched device ids ip addresses cookies data and location that means google will also store the information if you search for any restaurant on google map or watch a youtube video so every information uh, according this search every ip addresses cookies and other data locations will store it by google okay you should know about those information before you agree okay because google are actually using your personal data and then we can see there is we also process the kind of we also process the kind of information information described above when you use apps or sites that use google services such as ads analytics and the youtube video player google will actually put keep all of your data okay so why we proceed it so if you read the whole whole things you will understand everything okay so after you read this very carefully what actually google will use from you and what the service google will provide you you should you should read those information okay so after that you just have to simply click on i agree if you if you really agree with those conditions and then your email will be created you have to wait some time sorry for my bad internet connection so it's loading and then google workspace as you can see this is loading so here is our gmail so here you can see your google 
your gmail id already has been created and this is your gmail you can use your gmail for lots of youtube services okay so thank you so much guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please don't forget to like my videos share my videos with your friends and family and the subscription to my channel will be so 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 much appreciated and thank you so much guys i will i i, I will love to create more videos about lots of things how actually you, you can create those things and uh, you should know the basic things about those stuffs so i will i will try to create that kind of video for you which will help you in in your future okay i hope so so thank you so much thank you again for watching my video this is your email has been created so this is that was a simple video how you can create your gmail in 2021 you can control everything from there you can compose a email or all of the stuff so thank you so much i will catch you in the next video Thank you again.